Um, I've been employed with Granville County DSS um, probably about 15 years now. Um, started off in child services. Actually started, and this is my second time around actually, um, I was here in the early 90s, okay. um, left and went to mental health and to the school system and came back to the Department of Social Services. So, um, And I guess so all together it's been about 17 years. I guess my favorite quote would be, and especially for social workers, um, is to you know basically do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. And, and I say that because you know, we never know how a person got into a situation that they're in. Sometimes it's voluntary, sometimes um, it is just a situation that has occurred for them. And so we, you know, to be mindful that, you know, everyone wants to succeed. And sometimes everybody doesn't have the opportunity to succeed like others. So just to be kind and compassionate and be understanding. Um, I like to build rapport. I, I like to just kind of, first of all, um, let let that person know that, you know, we're both, we're humans. We, we're here to to help, we're here to um, provide a service. Um, and to let them know that um, me being involved is not a, a, a way of being in a threatening way, but to be in a helpful way. And I think once we kind of get that um, or build that rapport, we can move forward and, and provide the service that needs to be provided. A lot. Um, <laughs> um, a lot of changes have occurred. Um, first of all, locations, especially for social workers. We've, we've, we've had various locations. Um, the pandemic, of course, um, created some changes as well. Um, but then, the, um, I guess the clientele or society as a whole has changed. And so with that, changes have to come. Um, in order to meet those needs. So it's been where, you know, I've seen people come and retire and um, just as a whole where um, there's been a generation of, um, of what we call very seasoned people to another generation of those that are coming in and, and beginning to walk in this profession and has it have the energy and the stamina and, um, and, and seem to be doing really well with it. So um, the changes ha have come, but then again, nothing stays the same. Um, in all honesty, it has really been the people that I've worked with, the team that, that, we, that we have. Um, because one of the things that happens is you can have a career, you can have a job, but um, when you can come to work and feel comfortable, when you can come to work and know that you have the support that you need, when you are in a position and you know that um, your supervisor or your co-workers or whomever will have your back, and especially as a social worker, you go out um, each and every day sometimes and you knock on doors and you don't know what's on the other side of the door. You don't know how someone is going to respond to you. But when you know that there is support with you, when we know that, um, and I do want to say this for one thing, whenever we ha need the opportunity or have the opportunity or have a need to call on the sheriff department or the police department, they're just there. And so, um, you know, those things are very, very important. I think, I think um, maybe in any position sometimes it, or career, um, a lot of times it may have to do with your own personal um, experiences. Um, and I've always been intrigued by people. I, I, I like people. I love interacting with others. I like to see people do well. Um, and so I think that's one of the reasons that I, I kind of got into this field. Uh, one of the things is um, in the beginning, like I said, for children's services, I love kids. I love those teenagers. Um, but as time has, um, you know, progressed, um, I got into the adult services field, and which came about, and, and this is kind of a little personal, but came about at a time when my parents were going through some health issues. And so to, um, to go through that experience 
and then to experience that and then you're able to relate to other people when they're going through some things mm -hmm. so um, as a whole it is just a, a, a area that I was interested in tip mm -hmm. um, I guess one thing is to give it time you know um, to give it time give your your um, position time give the career some time um, you know every day is not a perfect day but when you can stay and and I don't know impart into others and share with others and then you look back say 20 years from now and somebody walk up to you and say thank you you know or we appreciate you or um, I remember what you did for me and my family or you know how you came across my path and changed my life um, those are some things to really look forward to because they do happen mm -hmm. they do happen so you know um, just just give it time let it just let it develop you. Granville County. Granville County is my home. Um, I, I wasn't um, born or reared here, however, um, but just across the county line um, in Vance County. But um, um, you know, Granville County has been good to me, um, and especially in my career. I've, I've never worked in any other county other than Granville County, and so. Um, it has been it has been good to me. So um, the favorite thing about it, I guess, is the people. Um, you know, you can really develop good friendships here. Um, you know, it's just like any other place. Changes come, people come, people go. Um, there are adjustments to be made, but overall, it's a good place to to reside in.